as uh, mentioned previously before we broke away, uh, there have been quite a number of people that have impersonated Elvis Presley, uh, either as a, uh, an imitator or an attribute after his passing. We're fortunate, I guess, that in New Jersey there are quite, quite a few of them that do it, and one very locally right here, not too far away. He's going to be appearing uh, at some local clubs that we'll be talking about. And uh, what we're going to show you now is some clips and some excerpts of uh, pieces of an interview that we did together, and then he's going to get up and do a little performing. So let's watch Lee Estrada doing his tribute to Elvis Presley. They call Elvis the king. Do you think he'll always be the king? You think he'll all, no one will ever top him? He sold more records than anyone else. He made more money than any single performer ever did. And drew more people. Drew more people to more concerts. Went through more changes. Do you think it was a once in a, uh, a lifetime thing, or? I, I don't think we'll ever see another Elvis Presley. Personal feeling on what killed him? Illnesses, basically. He had a lot of illnesses. I found out through people that knew him, and it's something that they don't publicize a lot. They usually publicize more about the things that he took to cure, to relieve himself of the ailments. Were they physical ailments or psychological? Ailments? <clears throat> they were physical. Physical. Yes, he had problems in, internally with his, you know, intestinal. Matter of fact, one thing that they were talking about doing towards the end was uh, a colostomy, where they would have had to remove part of the lower colon. Really. And he would have had to wear a bag, and naturally. He didn't want to go through that. Because we saw him go up and down in weight fluctuations, and yeah. his hair looked like he was having trouble with his skin at some time. I guess it, it was very difficult for him. Yeah, he never really kept a great diet, and on top of it with the with the physical ailments, it really became a lot. Do you think it was running around doing one-nighters, the, the pressure of the business that did it, or the fact that he lived like a hermit, or just it would have happened if he was a short order cook somewhere? <laughs> Probably that too. You know, uh, he he loved what he was doing right to the end. And and, um, his parents played a very large part of his life as far as guiding him and directing him, and he, he took care of them, and I remember I read books and saw movies about him. Have your parents been as supportive? I mean, do they think that you're doing the right thing for you, or do they tell you to go out and get a real job? <laughs> in, the, in the beginning, they, uh, in the beginning they, they thought I was kind of crazy, you know, because, you know, I did everything I was supposed to back then. I, you know, I finished grammar school, high school, and college, and, and uh, my music director, because I'm also a trumpeter. Oh, are you really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't um, know. You know, and um, he told me, you know, Lee he says you're never going to become anything just singing like Elvis. And this was like probably around 1970. And I says, well, you know, I enjoy doing it. It's something I enjoy getting a kick out of. So where's Lee Estrada five years from now? Probably in a jumpsuit <laughs> singing on stage. <laughs> All right, well, we'll let you jump around a little while. We're going to take a short break. Okay. And when we come back, we're going to meet the fellas in the group. And again, uh, this Saturday night, is it? Uh, it's the following Wednesday. Following Wednesday, Wednesday night at Hackensack at the Crow's Nest and then later down the month in uh, Action Park. Okay, we'll take a short break and be right back. Thank you. 
I don't know why my heart flips on and on it does. I wonder why I love you, baby. I guess that's just because you're so square. Baby, I don't care. Baby, I don't care. Baby, I don't care. Care, care, care. I don't care. care, care. Oh, yeah. Thank you, thank you very much. That uh, song was a song called Baby I Don't Care from Elvis's movie Jailhouse Rock. And he performed that in the late 50s. And uh, we're gonna give you a touch of something else of Elvis from the 70s, a great rock and roll tune he did in 72 called Burn In Love. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Put your eyes in mm -hmm. Higher, higher It's burning through to my soul Yeah Yeah, girl, girl, girl You're gonna set me on fire mm -hmm. My brain's flaming I don't know which way to go Yeah It's like a switch Chest is a heaving. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy, I'm burning all away. Hunk a hunk of bunny love. 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 H